That's New York. Orlando, Florida. And I'm from New York. Far? Yeah, no, that's not too far. Just to get a bag. And we drove all the way down from New York. And what, what's the line bag. for? What's we'll the line up. for? It's a bag to get a bag. Just to get a bag. For Inter American Division. It must be good. It must be good. What's in the bag? Gold. What's in the bag? Gold. Your salvation in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can be too light. Good morning. My name is David Gates. I'm president of Gospel Ministries International. God has blessed us with a great philosophy of operation, that is, by faith, solely by faith, that totally dependent on God. And Gospel Ministries International was born through the, the opportunity we found as we went into Guyana, the jungles of Guyana, and then it spread to neighboring countries, neighboring continents, and now it's in every continent. Today, we have 250 full-time volunteers, professionals, technicians, and uh, some college students. We have, God has blessed us with 26 airplanes, two helicopters, 12, 12 television networks in different languages covering the entire globe, and we also have 15 schools. Now, what's interesting about this thing, besides orphanages and prison ministry, what's interesting is everything we do is for free. We do not charge for our airplanes when they go in to pick up patients or bring in when the pastors have to fly, the administration. Uh, it all is free. The patients come out for free. They get, go to the hospital. They get treated. We bring them back in. Our schools, no tuition. Each of the students works their way through, and the teachers are volunteers. The students are volunteers. The pilots are volunteers. Doctors, dentists, uh, uh, engineers. Our 12 television networks all operate 24/7 without charging for advertising. Hey, what are you doing? We're working the, the climbing wall at the Union College Bay. Why? Because uh, it's fun. We're trying to recruit college students for international rescue and relief. Where are you from? Tennessee. What do you do? We uh, have a lifestyle center in, we're located in East Tennessee. We have a lifestyle center where we take people with chronicle and cancers and we put them through a lifestyle, lifestyle uh, change and we detox their body to where we have had people that have walked away cancer free. Wow, and what are you gonna do now? Well, I'm trying to make it up this rock climb. I've made up all the other ones, but I haven't made it up this one. So Let's see what you can do now. Okay. Hi, uh, Southwestern is an hour south of Dallas and 30 minutes south of Fort Worth in the great state of Texas. It right now is our Adventist system's best kept secret, but we're about to take the lid off so that everybody can know Southwestern is the place you want to be. It is a small campus with just under a thousand students. And we like being a small campus because that way we can give personalized attention to everybody that's there. We are indeed a family. Please come and check us out. 
We'd love to see you and see if you're willing to come and be fitted for Southwest Smile. I was filming in Ethiopia on one of our trips for Adventist World Radio. I came across this fortune teller. He'd heard about Jesus Christ through our radio program, gave his life to Christ. Soon there was others in the village. The same thing happened. Their lives dramatically changed through accepting Jesus Christ. But the wife, the family, they wanted nothing to do with Jesus. Well, they continued praying. They continued gathering together. And soon they were looking for a place to worship. During that time, the lady of the ex-fortune teller now died. And I had all these men standing right here with me. I interviewed every single one with the cameras rolling. Are, this lady was dead? Oh, yes, she was dead. How long was she dead? She was dead three days. Are you sure she was dead three days? She was dead three days, no doubt about it. And we prayed for her. And I tell you, everyone, as you're watching this, this lady was standing right there with us that day. God resurrected her from the dead. The Lord is coming soon. He's preparing his people around the world. And he's doing mighty things, just like in the book of Acts. Get your life ready for Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. Oh, welcome to Hope Channel. I hope you'll uh, take, take time to come visit our website at www.hopetv.org. Avail yourself of all the different resources we have there. We have a little online store, but we're hoping to expand that in the future. But when you watch Hope Channel, you can watch it on hopetv.org. You can watch it here in North America on Glory Star System, which is a free uh, monthly you know, no, no monthly subscription, but it's a one-time purchase of a dish. Or you can watch us on uh, uh, DirecTV, that's what it's called. And it's uh, channel 368 on DirecTV. There is a monthly fee, of course, associated with that. If you haven't been here in Atlanta with us, uh, take a look around the booth. We've got all sorts of things behind us that you've missed out on. But we've got resources and resources and resources, all kinds of things that you can use in your ministry to advance the gospel in your community. Use Hope TV in uh, your ministry around the town. Tell people about the channel. Tell them to watch and watch what happens. Pray for these people and they'll show up on your doorstep eventually.